Right, welcome back. Um, Today is Sunday morning and it is a cracking still day here in Hobart and I've decided to jump in the car and pop out to see if I can take some photos. Um, I have been fortunate enough to get my hands on the brand new full frame Sigma 100 to 400 lens and I'm interested in purchasing this for myself but I just want to do one last check before it goes back to its owner that it's the lens for me. I'm kind of tossing up between this, the 100 to 400, or the Canon L series 70 to 200. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is pop out and just go for a drive. It's like a an hour loop around Hobart Westish. Beautiful countryside, it's absolutely magic out here. Uh, I've got my iced coffee, which I need because it's early, er, early-ish. Just gonna go and test out this lens one last time before it goes back. Now, I don't have the Canon equivalent to sort of compare it against. However, the 70 to 200 is Canon's full frame lens. I do have a full speed booster that I can attach to my Sony. Uh, the benefit of the Sigma is it's a Sony E-mount lens, bang it straight on. Uh, the Canon, I have to have the adapter. Now, today with the 100 to 400, all I have to do is just zoom in to a maximum of 200 to compare. It's a huge difference in price between the two. I think I know which one I want, but last chance before this lens goes back, before I actually pull the trigger and make a purchase on anything. So, come along, I'm literally just driving the countryside, looking for photography options. A7, 100-400, drone, GoPro, phone, car, country, no rain. I'm not looking for anything particular. I am just driving this country road, just looking for something that kind of takes my fancy. The good thing I love about the clouds today and the weather, it's its this medium to low cloud that is just covering the entire city, which means you get that really nice soft diffused light. So it's not bright, I don't need ND filters, it's just beautiful colours. Uh, and the other one of the other things I really want to try while I'm out here is to get another, that's beautiful, uh, and one last car photography shoot. Uh, so I've done a little bit of car photography with this lens over the last week. I'll give you a quick snapshot now. So yeah, if I can get a one last shot, rolling hills in the background, long dead straight country road. Yeah, that'd, that'd look nice I reckon. changed. I was on this beautiful country road and then in a split second I came around the corner and it's literally a dirt road. And I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of trash on the side of the road that makes me think that uh, this is a bit of a dumping site for people. There's beds, there's, I've seen two burnt out cars already. Oh, here we go, an intersection. A big, full dirt intersection. Which way do we go? Gretna, Boston, South, Hollow Tree. landscapes here but there's some lambs. Let's see if I can get a close-up of a lamb. <laughs> oh 
whole group of them over there. 400 mil just isn't getting them close enough. I am not a good wildlife photographer. Could be something here, but almost at the top of this little rise. Make sure there's no cars around me. Rolling hills. Oh, sheep on the top of the hill. I don't know where to park. Hopefully I'll get something up just a little bit further. Just pulling over here. Car's got a bash plate on underneath. Oh, beautiful scenery. It's got to be something here. So halfway down into this field, it drops off a fair way and in the middle is this mown patch of field curling with the landscape. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the camera go. mode on. So this is what I'm looking at, this scene here, and right in the middle there's this unique field. It does kind of move along with the land. Uh, so I'm gonna just try and get a shot something like that. Um, I think I might just bump up. I might get like a... Oop. Actual first photo for the day, like an actual composed image. Uh, let me just make sure it's level. Now, I want to put a two second timer on, two second timer delay. I am auto focused to the field. Two second timer. So, let me pull back to 200, and this is how far I would go if I ended up buying the 70 to 200. So different, different look again, really. But if I just compose it just slightly, let's get the sky out of the image. Two second shutter. Oh, it's not bad, I don't mind that. Let me just try one in portrait mode. So let's put this wind. I'm gonna Tell you what I'm doing, I'm gonna put this wind right in the middle of the shot. About that, now what am I zoomed into? 300, let me just go in a little bit. Focused on that two second sh shutter to eliminate any shake. Right, pull back to 200. Righto. Onwards and upwards. We'll head to the next spot. I think there's a shot here. That big lone dead tree. I'm gonna try and isolate it from the background. Right, this could be one of my last shots, but I have absolutely found, this is a stunning shot. So I was actually aiming at the one big dead tree to the left of these two here. But beyond that, there is one dead, half stick looking tree on the edge of the cliff. 
and I honestly think, I mean, I need to, I need to, I honestly think that at 400, I think this is the shot. There was this dead stick. There's sheep all down the hill. And this one little dead tree just sticking out in the middle of nowhere. Country Road. This is the one car shop that I've been looking for. That's the shot I've been looking for. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is probably a much longer video than I first expected, honestly. The weather just makes me want to get out and uh, take photos again. So, thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, Sigma's a very, very nice lens.